Tacitus Bellum. Or, there's another name for it, but I forgot. <laughs> yes, it is Christmas flower. There you go. It's called Christmas flower. Yeah, it is. Because it flowers at this time of the year. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. I have a mother plant over there at the back. I think it's just about to... It's just budding up. That's my mummy plant. And this one is a baby plant that I'm holding. They're quite easy to grow. They're not really fussy. It's one of those plants that you put in a pot or pot up and then forget. And once a year, you will just get a beautiful surprise from the beautiful flowers. I am going to show you my latest acquisition, Echeveria Agavoides. Serious. And she is seriously beautiful. So she's got the same shape as a Romeo, but she has patches of salmon color. I've noticed that on my videos, the color doesn't really show the color. <laughs> the color in the video is really different to the color in real life. So in the video, it's a bit muted. Ooh, I've got a cobweb, but it doesn't matter. But the color in here, I'm just going to show you, is one of those like bright, uh, like salmony lipstick it's really gorgeous it's like okay so hang on I got I got me hat so it's like in the middle of the day well it's not in the middle of the day it's four o'clock almost but it's really hot anyway see you can see the Romeo over there and this one is just different see look at that beautiful beautiful plant so I got avoid this uh, serious or Echeveria got serious and what's happening to my Romeo oh my Romeo is coloring up nicely in the shade over there and oh Fukushu Nishiki hi uh, it's a Japanese hybrid I would assume because of the name but hang on go I don't know if you can see that oopsie it's a beautiful beautiful plant as well but it's more uh, maroon, maroon. I really want to show you this beautiful plant. Oh my lord. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. Okay, are you ready? A uh, one, two, three. Boom. How beautiful is that? Oh, oh, okay. It's a portulaca. Olera seya something. It's really hard to pronounce. And the name, I can't see it. Hang on, let's go have a look. Isn't that beautiful? It's magnificent. The color, have you seen a prettier pink? So it's just beautiful color. Oh my God, so delicious, you could eat it. Portulaca oleracea variegata. So this plant loves water, loves the sun, and the soil, I use pumice, and standard potting mix and I put 25% pumice with it and it's light it needs to be watered so if I could water this every day I would but I keep forgetting but anyway it's grown out here in the full sun it gets uh, morning sun midday sun midday sun is sort of covered with the shade cloth over here but you can see that's in the edge and it gets full afternoon sun but it's just beautiful okay portulaca olaraceia see there you go i forgot the name already okay beautiful beautiful plant this is a tangled heart that kanya gave me she wanted me to pluck or break off a bigger piece when I got given this. So this another name for this is called the pillow plant because it's like a pillow in it, like thick and fat. And this one is only a small, I only took like one branch off like that big when I got it before and it's actually one of the plant hold video. Anyways, this one has grown so much since then. Look at that, look how many baby stems it's got. But then, 
I'm gonna show you the one I have for about four months. Up here is my Vix plant or Plectranthus prostratus. Hang on, okay, it's getting stuck. And oh, look at that, and a gorgeous the color. Ah, oh, beautiful. This one is in a small pot and it's trying to conserve energy by distributing the water that it's getting to the other leaves. So the leaves has become smaller. So I really need to transplant this to a bigger pot. That way it can grow and absorb as much water as it can because they love water. And this one likes being out here. And this is also frost hardy apparently. So I still have to test that or put that um, into action to see if this winter it can survive the frost because I got this after I think springtime is when I got this one but anyway hang on it's got a beautiful Vix scent so even when you're brushing off it so it's just my hand brushing off it and if I oh you get a transfer of the scent it's beautiful scenting beautifully beautifully scenting beautifully scented plant and also beautiful to look at especially when it becomes mature and gets bigger and gets exposed to the sun see look at that it's a beautiful color it gets darker than that once uh, it's exposed to the sun so plectrantos uh, vix plant tangled hearts Othona capensis also known as ruby necklace this plant is very frost hardy, sun loving, uh, water loving, provided your soil. I haven't really put one to the test and put it in a boggy soil, uh, one uh, that stays wet all the time. But I've grown this in winter, like I've broken off a piece of it, planted it in winter, autumn, spring and summer, it just grows. It's like a weed and almost indestructible. See, because there's really nothing like indestructible. You can destroy anything if you wanted to, but we don't want to destroy this beautiful plant. And this one here is sort of um, muted or not really showing its best. I'll show you the one that's really, really pretty. This is my pretty ones. It looks like grapes. I just had some green grapes, but look at this one. Oh. How can you refuse or resist that beauty, hey? Look at that beautiful, oh the color, oh my goodness. So, ruby necklace and um, I, I want to make an arrangement wherein it's just don't let it hang off, just on a pot. So I'll do that in future videos and okay, in saying that, I'm just looking at my string of beans. I think this is a string of herianos. Why is everything in my garden going red and purple? And look, <laughs> it's going purple. It's going purple. It's got to be the soil. It has a string of bananas. I've got um, red bananas now. Look. See? Anyway, let's go over. I wonder if I'm going to get some red dolphins. Oh, look at that. See? Look. Everything's going red. I don't know. And that's beautiful still. Okay, let's go have a look at the other ruby necklace. Ruby necklace here, this is my last ones that I potted up. So this one, I've taken some cuttings and this is only, the cuttings I took will probably be about that much. Okay, and then just break it off and stick in there. So three or four or five or six <laughs> stem. So, because by the time you break it off, you don't know what you end up with because that's how they grow. See, um, now they love a lot of water. You can drown them as long as you let them drain through. That's fine. And expose it to the sun, expose it to the frost. So in our area, we do get frost. I've had this in winter where it's covered with frost. And I touch it and it's... Um, really really icy it's just turned into icicle and it survived that and did not worry it at all i was propagating in winter and they still grow so that's at the front so it they're very tough and strong plants ideal for propagating now in the case of hang on why, why am i putting it over there uh, in case of if you want it to grow really fat 
and like the other one over there that we just been to you need to give it a lot of water so although in saying that that area there I haven't watered it for a while as well it's just dependent on the rain but because it's in a dish hang on let's go back there because it is in a container or a dish we're in see look at that they have a lot of soil and I bet you anything you like if I poke my hand in there that's really hard and dry so they really need to be watered so I'm gonna water that later on this afternoon I'm going to water that. I'm going to water my uh, kante. I've already pulled out my other kante in the bottom there and it's somewhere over there. Can you see it? Hello. It's over here. That poor white. Look how white that kante is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, I don't really want to wash off the farina on that one because it's so beautiful. It's like so white. And, oh, I just saw... There you go. There's my other afterglow. I was looking for you. You didn't even say boo. Watering. Yes, I'm going to go back to watering. So 31 degrees right now, 4 o'clock. And here in Australia, in Canberra, we don't get, it doesn't get dark until about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to be watering them around 6 o'clock where there's still a little bit of sun, but it's not as hot or the intensity of the heat is not as strong wherein you water something and it's going to boil up so oh my god like that one oh how beautiful is that okay oh gosh okay so i need the rest of you to fatten up like that one over there look how nice and big that is okay so anyway i'm just letting them drape over there but the colors is just beautiful Okay, this is plants that make you go ooh, 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 <laughs> and ah. <laughs>